Caribbean and U.S. governments commit to enhanced initiatives to reduce illicit trafficking and prevent youth crime and violence. Details of this story and more in the National Report. With the details to the news for Monday, May 20th, I am Rakesha St. Louis. Caribbean governments and the United States have jointly committed to enhancing Caribbean Basin security initiative objectives to reduce illicit trafficking, as well as to increase safety and security and prevent youth crime and violence. The commitment was made during their meeting in Washington on the 10th anniversary of the Caribbean Basin Security Initiative. To reduce illicit trafficking, the government agreed to a 10-point plan, which includes convening a technical working group meeting to combat transnational organized crime and terrorism to confront money laundering and financial crimes. A 10-point plan was also agreed upon to increase safety and security. It includes improving police-juvenile interactions. Addressing the meeting in Washington, Grenada's Minister with Responsibility for Disaster Management and Information, Senator the Honorable Dr. Winston Garway, said foremost among the challenges faced is the threat of firearms, which is responsible for more than 75% of the region's murder rate. He pointed out that functional cooperation with the U.S. is key if this problem is to be solved. Speaking on behalf of the Chair of the Council for National Security and Law Enforcement, Senator Gawai pointed to the importance of technology to tackle crime and enhance security and made a reference to the Advanced Passenger Information System, the Advanced Cargo Information System, and the CARICOM Watch List System to increase risk assessment capabilities. He is heartened by what he referred to as a genuine desire to cooperate and collaborate in a variety of areas to safeguard citizens, build capacity, and to create opportunities for prosperity and the development of the region's economies. Senator Gawai closed his address by saying they must ensure that there are mechanisms in place to benefit from the expertise within the regulatory authorities and access to resources from various funding agencies, since the region needs support to adequately address challenges that it faces. Sugarcane cultivation company Caneco says the recent dry spell was not as hard-hitting as anticipated. Director Butron John says while sugarcane fields may appear underdeveloped, they will be ready for harvest in a matter of months. Kenko is the company responsible for cultivating sugarcane for Renegade Rum Distillery. In January, it was announced that Grenada will experience a harsh dry spell, which will affect plants and water supply. But John says the company has been using water tankers to irrigate the crops. We had a long dry season and it has um, adverse effect in terms of you know the growth of the cane um, however we have some tankers water tankers that we brought in um, that we are using as irrigation in the meantime um, but cane is a grass and it only appeared that it look like it you know struggling for some water now um, sooner or later when the rain starts falling it would um you know, it would all change up so you expect things to change, turn around it will turn around the company has already cultivated over 200 acres of cane with a target of 600 acres john says they are leasing lands for cultivation a project like these normally start and fall apart and people you know have certain level of uncertainty when it comes to you know putting the you know the eggs in the basket however with the commencement of the factory and we ourselves doing large quantity of cane a lot of people are now coming you know forward and saying hang on you know we have some lands and we don't know if you would you know like it or you know if you'd want it to lease and you know in a lot of cases people are offering us lands to buy and um, we're not buying land we're just leasing the lands and um, people who have lands and want to, you know, let us cultivate the lands for you. We pay $1,000 per acre um, per annum. And initially we want the land just for five years. After five years, we should recover the cost that we pay to, you know, cultivate those lands. And then you can have back your lands well cultivated. Kenko already has fields of cane in Westerhall, Lacalome, Bacolet, River and Twine, Plains, Dunfermline and Hope. This is the National Report. We'll have more news after the break. The world's debt is 184 trillion U.S. dollars. That's about 86,000 U.S. dollars per person. 
Join Linda Tessar, the Central Bank of Barbados 2019 Distinguished Visiting Fellow for the sixth edition of the Caribbean Economic Forum as she helps us understand just how in a world of rising debt we in the Caribbean can stay afloat. Follow this important live broadcast of the sixth Caribbean Economic Forum on social media and on radio and television in Barbados and across the region. Thursday, May 23rd at 8 p.m. 7 p.m. in Jamaica. Visit www.centralbank.org.db for more information. Welcome back. Preparations intensify to stage the first leg of the Parish Youth Parliament at the St. Andrews Anglican Secondary School on May 30th. The activity organized by the Ministry of Youth, Sports, Culture and the Arts serves as the build-up of the National Youth Parliament, which seeks to engage young people in healthy debate on issues of national importance. The participants have been training to ensure that they are ready for the day. Denroy Lewis is the training facilitator. But first, it was, it, was a quite, it was quite difficult. I think um, the trainees, some of them were very new to debating and public speaking. But um, based on the strategies and the curriculum that we have used so far, the trainees have improved as it goes along. One of the, one of the weaknesses that we have is uh, the inconsistency with the students coming along, or the trainees coming along. Uh, but over the past few weeks, we have seen a great improvement, and I think at St. Andrews, we are ready for youth parliament. Get some the students to practice a lot of topics that are actually close to them. When I say close to them, I think that that would affect them very closely and in the sense that um, something that they are aware of. And um, they have been practicing for a long, uh, quite a few weeks now and I think um, they are ready. They are ready for the big day and I think they, are, they cannot wait. They are anticipating that big day. Participant Selena Douglas spoke of her preparations ahead of the Parish Youth Parliament and her desire to participate in other positive youth activities. Training has been great. Um, I'm already experienced with the public speaking and so it was quite good. Um, I brought my ideas and thoughts to the team and we were able to bring it together and make use of it. We invite you to the first leg of our Parish Youth Parliament, which will be held at the St. Andrews Anglican Secondary School on May 30th at 4 p.m. It's going to be an exciting and interesting afternoon. Come, Come out, out and support. support. Finally, the Grenada Tourism Authority is adding to the list of attractions that it offers to visitors. During a press conference held recently, Ms. Francis Stewart, marketing manager, spoke about their next stop Grenada campaign, which runs until October 31st. So this year we decided that in addition to the specials that includes discounts of the regular hotel rack rates, room upgrades, and complimentary, complimentary massages that the hotels offered last year, we decided that we needed a special feature that visitors can also keep as a keepsake. So we decided to come up, our marketing team came up with this card. It's the Next Stop Grenada Summer Specials card. It will allow visitors to take advantage of additional discounts on tours, attractions, restaurants, and more. That story just ended the national report for today, Monday, May 20th. Let's recap the top story. Caribbean and U.S. governments commit to enhanced initiatives to reduce illicit trafficking and prevent youth crime and violence. On behalf of the entire news team here at the Government Information Service, I am Rakesha St. Louis saying thank you for joining us. Until next time.